What are you up to now? Anything to do with the Dark Heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. The Dark Arts do pique my interest. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this. Better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous' family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus Curse, also known as the Torture Curse, inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting it on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me, and more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. Revelio. Alohomora. Mine now, Demi guys. Revelio.
Revelio. That's it. Revelio. 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 <laughs> yes, I told you. You're very clever. Clever? How offensive. Next. Fine, a genius. Happy Possibly. now? But I'll allow your limp vocabulary. This disillusionment. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings! Uh, any luck removing some more of those demiguy statues? I actually have some moons for you. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, bring me a few more moons and I'll show you how to improve casting Alahamora. Where should I look for more demiguy statues and moons? All of my uh, usual haunts, which incidentally have now become quite haunting. Here in the castle, in Oxmead, and believe it or not, in some of the surrounding hamlets. Oh, my tormentor is nothing if not thorough. Kept me from all my usual engagements for an eternity now. I'll keep an eye out for more demiguy statues and see if I can bring you more moons. You are to be commended for your bravery and valor, especially since they can only be collected at night. Have you found any more of those ghastly demigods? Revelio. <laughs>
Revelio. Revelio. Alohomora.
Revelio. Yes. Alohomora. Rebellion. Revelio. Rebellion. Ha! 
handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Revelio. 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 Arrest the momentum. Revelio. Arrest the momentum. Arrest the moment. Revelio. Arrest the momentum.
Revelio. 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 Arrest over lesson. Rebellion. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. Arrest the moment. Rebellion. Alohomora. Revelio. 
Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Where did you and Poppy run off to? Revelio. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Revelio. Ah. Alohomora. Revelio. What do we have here? A demigod. Mine now, Demi guys. Rebellion. Not 
sure what kind of look you call that. Lumos. Someone loaned me a book on the International Confederation of Women. Revelio. I wish they'd allow us from home. <laughs> Repero. Revelio. Levioso. Flupendo. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio Alohomora Revelio Revelio.
nice to see you, my young friend. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies. Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight, we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first-rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I... I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Revelio. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. Perfect night for... Oh, hello again. Amit, where did you say that telescope was? Sitting in the storage room beneath the top deck. Look for the smaller set of stairs on the main observation deck. Thank you. Of course. Hurry back once you've found it. This was his old telescope. <laughs> That's practically brand new. <sighs> A pristine night for stargazing. I have the telescope. 
It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onward, Revelio. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't Rebellion. you lead the way? If you're sure. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. Rebellion. Just not as tidy as I expected. Confringo! Revelio. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh no. Look, there's Not this table. close to school, I meet. I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope, don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Rebellion. Ah, <sighs> never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. What a view. What an excellent broom. Revelio.
Revelio. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was. Revelio. I invented flu powder. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Revelio. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Alohomora. Revelio. Alohomora. Mine now, Demi guys. What do we have here? A Demi guys. Rebellion. Revelio.
Revelio. Seems a pleasant enough little place. I should investigate. Revelio. Here's one of those tables, but... Revelio. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Not enough to reflect my idea. Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Oh, my sincerest gratitude, you brave soul.
Revelio. Revelio. These rocks have seen better days. Rebellion. Another adventure, are we? Psst, over here, quietly. I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Lassie, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the Hulk's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And... One other thing. Hallow mentioned you to his colleagues. They did not mistake you for someone else, did they? <laughs> no, they didn't. Rookwood and Harlow are after me. Why did you lie to me? And what do they want with a Hogwarts student? Professor Fig told me to keep things quiet, but I know I can trust you, Natty. Rookwood and Harlow want something Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before I came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I... what does that mean? I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know it's a lot to take in. <sighs> it is. And I will have more questions. For now, it's safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, and we can help to take them down for good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. Can't we just bypass Officer Singer and go directly to the Ministry? Do you think they will listen to a student? Only Officer Singer can start an investigation. The Ministry will come in later. You seem to be very determined in stopping Rookwood and Harlow. Why? I knew men like him in Uganda. I know how bad things can get if they are not stopped. It's their long story, one I promise to share when we have more time. For now, let's do what we came to do. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here after all. Revelio. Fringo.
Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. what that does. Well, that didn't work. De Bolso. Perhaps something with a bit more force. That did it. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Levioso. Revelio. Protego. Revelio. I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. Revelio. Dead end. Must be another way in. That looks as if it might raise the gate. Depulsa. Depulsa. Arrest those momentum. Depulsa. Accio. Also, Akio De 
Pulso. Well done. I will be right up. I knew you could do it. This way. I will get the door. Revelio. Rebellion. <laughs> that is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Halo and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get... I hear them. Yeah, restrain the face! That hippogriff. Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! <laughs> Blasted! There's got to be another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. Revelio. Nobody's here. Waste of time. I hope Natty stays out of trouble. the safest place to sneak into. DePulso! Revelio! Leviosa. <coughs> Revelio. Revelio.
Alohomora. Rebellion. Nazi's having an easier time of it. Repair her. Rebellion. You're going home in a wooden box. Let me out, so. Lumos. How's the view? You'll feel that tomorrow. The video. Expelliarmus! Oh. I'm gonna enjoy this! Let's bring you! Too slow! Expelliarmus! Defender! Accio! Revelio! Hello, Hamora. Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion. Rebellion. I 
my wing. It's all right. There we go. There you are. Come on. A lot of more. the Hogwarts Express. Must be returning from an unscheduled run. It's incredible, isn't it? Exciting. <laughs> it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rook was looking for a phoenix. <laughs> Not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Hyrum before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that Highwing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. by Halo. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Halo down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? When you have a moment, please stop by the room of requirement. Deke tells me he has something to share with you.
would like to talk with you. Everything's all right now. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Deke would like to talk with you when you have a moment. Hello, Deke. 
Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He... <laughs> Seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. Uh, as Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the Enchanted Loom. And uh, perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. And Deke knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. I understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Tobbs for you. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. Pressed ominous regarding Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. going to hurt you. Dick. 
thinks you should be proud of all the Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Time for a jaunt, I'd say. Go! Likely this astronomy table will be best used when it's dark. This must be Tobbs's cave. I suppose I should head inside. Revelio. Rebellion. Confringo. Rebellion. Tobbs's master is awful. Revelio. Tobbs? Tobbs? Deke sent me. Are you in here? Rebellion. Rebellion. 
Revelio. Confringo. Expelliarmus, defender. Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Revelio. That didn't sound particularly reassuring. Rebellion. Rebellion. Thank <laughs> you. 
My fault you're a deadly great spider. Revelio. Rebellion. Feeling that house elf is Tobbs. Poor Tobbs. Left here alone with the spiders. Rebellion. 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 That table looks familiar. Seems I'm back at the entrance to the cave. Expelliarmus, 
here. Defender. Expelling arms. Glaciers. Can bring us to Pulsar. Revelio. I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful. Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh, my. Deke was afraid of this, alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, Deke and Tobbs once shared the same master when he died. We were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts, too. Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly, and will raise a glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. You are very kind. Deke could use some time alone to think, if that's all right. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Don't you fret, Biscuit. I shall sort something out. I'm told that last clump. Greetings! Please, take your time looking about. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. You have a good head for business, haven't you? No one can say I don't keep Rebellion. it myself.
Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Hogsmeade, here I come. Revelio. Revelio. Alohomora. Mine now, Demi guys. Revelio. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Revelio. Coming! Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome.
Revelio. Rebellion. Pardon me? Might I ask a favor of you? Good for you, getting all those folk. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Does it get any more cozy? Than Pardon me? Hello. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do? I'm Zacharissa Tugwood, and I have an exciting business proposition for you. Now, it may surprise you to learn that someone of my obvious esteemed lineage would be in business. But I only want to help the less fortunate. That's incredibly nice of you. Oh, there's more. You see, I've been experimenting with a new beauty cream. A cream that will rid our glorious school of the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our poor pubescent classmates. But I've run out of the key ingredient, boobatuba pus. Boobatubas do grow in the forbidden forest, however. If only I could pay someone to collect a few for me. What precisely are boobatubas? Disgusting things, really. Covered in protrusions. One needs to squeeze them to collect the pus. They smell simply awful and seem to move on their own. Ugh. I wouldn't go near the things if it weren't for my devotion to my classmates. How on earth did you discover that Boo, a tuba pus clears one's skin? One cannot rely on spells for all appearance enhancements. The errant cast, for example, could relocate one's eyebrows entirely rather than merely thinning them. My darling and now perpetually surprised-looking neighbour discovered that on her own. Poor thing. I am convinced that beauty potions are the future. I'm forever looking for ways to make this world a more beautiful place. I suspected that if pure boobatuba pus could cause boils, an altered form would likely reverse such abominations. And I was correct. I can try and find some for you if I have the time. Marvellous. I'd go myself, but I don't want to. I only need a few boobatubas, but they grow wild, so you'll have to look around. Our spotty classmates are counting on you, so you mustn't tarry. Into the Forbidden Forest for Boo Tubers. I hope it's worth the risk. Hogsmeade, here I come. Revelio. This is where Sakurissa said to go. And where are those booba tubers? Revelio. Just my luck. Control. Expelliarmus, defender, Leviosa. Potato, stoop to one. Can bring up. We 
Guardian Leviosa. Expelliarmus. Smells awful. Only four more, thank goodness. Revelio. Rebellion. Should do it. I'd better get back to Sakarissa now. Here, I wonder. Revelio. Let me 
closer. Defend us. Revelio. Akio. Expelliarmus. Defend us. Glacius. Descend us. Arresto Momentum. Wingardium Leviosa. Glacius. Expelliarmus. Defend us. Confringo. No. Rebellion. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Alohomora. Rebellio. Confringo. Confringo. Rependo. Glacius. Descendo. Protego. Stupid. There's a victory. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. No one's my ear and Rockwood. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. <sighs> Sakarissa, I found the boo with tubers you needed. Splendid. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. May I have them? Of course. Happy to have found them for you. Thank you. And your payment, of course. Now I can begin perfecting my potion to save our poor pimply peers. Don't know who should be more grateful, I or our unsightly spotty classmates. One day the wizarding world will know my name, and you will have been a small part of it.
Revelio. You're here. Brilliant. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. He's this way. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. Revelio. There he is. Good luck. What are you doing here? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? Please, Ominous. I confided in you before about what happened with the Undercroft. Sebastian simply wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about... what was it? A scriptorium? He told you about that! He did. We were talking about our house founder and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. That's a bit unnerving. I suppose even if it might lead to answers about what happened to your aunt, it does pose a risk. Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here, and I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope I... we don't regret this. Sebastian! Over here! These braziers grant access. Now you'll share? Good you. you wouldn't tell me when I'm practicing that. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics, Ominous. Revelio. Remember, 
three braziers are involved. <laughs> Good friend. Someone was actually listening. I do that. Occasionally. Something's happening. I hope we're ready for this. Revelio. A journal entry, signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt? Repair of ominous. Your family was here. The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. Revelio. The voice is ancient. Sinister. You hear a voice? It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I wish all Slytherins could talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. I see no reason we should stop now. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us? I... Never mind. Revelio. There's no clear way forward. Like a maze. Confringo! Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. Revelio. The door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate for clues. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Confringo. The dial requires focus. Art Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. That didn't sound good. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. Revelio. Lumos. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Poor Aunt Noctua. Lumos. Revelio. Matching the symbols did open it. Was about to do that myself. Revelio. But you got to it first. <clears throat> nice work. Another gate. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Must run in the family. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. 
That sounded promising. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. Lumos. Confringo! Ominous. Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did. And she was my favorite person in the world for it. Lumos. Revelio. Not sure reference is painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's the part I'm with. Lumos. All I heard was rewards. Keep going. Another, not the welcoming sort, was it? Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. I spotted something ahead. Rebellion. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot. Stop. Lumos. The gate. I think we're locked in. Again. Rebellion. Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Ominous. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door, and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Ominous. I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. Should have known he would have told you. And one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. 
I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast it if I have to. I want to learn the curse, and I think it's best if I cast it on you. Very well, if that's what you want. To perform the spell, raise your wand, point it at me, and firmly declare, Crucio. Hold on as long as you can. Ready? I'm ready. But I'll survive. Let's keep moving. We made it. We found Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. Rebellion! I can't believe we're here. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. May I have a look? Rebellion. Rebellion. What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. I've been getting an uneasy feeling about this. Revelio. Find a way out, please. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. Ominous, about your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. 
Thank you. Revelio. That's it. I'm making good progress with those tokens. This Dedalian Keys challenge is coming along nicely. Another house token for the house chest. Revelio. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Revelio. Wonder who lives here. You are here. Good. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Halo. We need to speak with him. Handy resources. Where are you? Revelio. Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? I don't mean to be grim, but could Harlow have taken him? Archie's satchel is missing, so he may have left on his own. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... <laughs> when my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? Uh, he's Victor Rookwood's second in command. A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. 
I begged him to leave it alone, but he... He was convinced that... <laughs> we'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please, Rebellion. Valia, warn me, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Achi home. Huh. Alohomora. Revelio. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. Rebellion. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. Revelio. We will need something more. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. Revelio. There! Archie's footprints. He went this way. I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Rebellion. Wolves! Prepare for a fight. Accio! Expelliarmus! Defend us! Arresto, Mamma! Expelliarmus! Expelliarmus! Defend us! I hope Archie didn't cross paths with that wolf pack. Rebellion! Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Archie went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Hollow Revelio. must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. A 
a fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. Revelio. What are you up? Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. <sighs> Thestrals. They are beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. Revelio. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. Akio! I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. Rebellion. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... <clears throat> Let us keep moving. Akio! We must find Akio. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. And to be so large on the inside, that mm. complicates things a little. Oh. Oh. Expelliarmus, defender. 
places. Descender. Arrest over men. Guardian Leviosa. You're going to regret it. Bring up. Arrest over men. Repender. How do you like it? Rebellion. Archie. Archie Bickle. Your mother sent us to find you. See you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Alohomora. Sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Ray. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh. I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof. Rebellion. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today.
You would be wise not to. Student. Their aptitude for magic is beyond anything I've ever seen, and I've been teaching a long time. It is a joy to have such a student. It can be. There you are. I've received your owl. I was able to speak with Lodgok, the goblin I mentioned before. What did you learn? He and Ranrock were close once, but they had a falling out. You believe he can be trusted? I believe he's trustworthy, yes. He seems sincere, and Sirona Ryan trusts him. Very well. Supposing he can be trusted, will he help us get to Ranrock? I retrieved a stolen helm he hopes to return to Ranrock in order to regain his confidence. You have been busy. Let's hope your efforts result in our learning something about Ranrock's plans. Lord Gok did mention that Ranrock is searching for something, but he couldn't say what. Perhaps that helm will yield some answers. Ranrock is searching for something? I feared as much. I've heard an unusual amount of activity, goblins and wizards, I surmise, when visiting my portrait at my castle. Rockwood Castle? My former residence, yes. That castle is also the location of your next trial. You didn't see anything? Speak with anyone? I did not. In fact, I did not make myself known. I only recently returned there and did not recognize nor trust anyone that I heard. I stayed out of sight so as not to tempt my portrait's destruction. I'm sorry to tell you that Victor Rookwood, evidently your descendant, is a dark wizard in league with Ranrock. My descendant? A dark wizard? I'm afraid we've no time to waste. Despite the obstacles that clearly await you, you must get to Rookwood Castle immediately. Not only is it the location of the next trial, it is home to a source of power that would be devastating in the wrong hands. I do wish we had the luxury of time. However, I do not doubt your abilities. Find my portrait there as soon as you can. Very well, sir. I'm on my way. Best of luck. No time to waste. I'll meet you at Rookwood Castle. If the rumors are to be believed, you've taken to increasing the beast population. Where do you find the time? Revelio.
Geek thinks you should be proud of all the... This will be more useful when I have something to identify. Rebellion. Rebellion. Professor Howen will never believe this.
Revelio. 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 Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Revelio.
It's like a place right out of a storybook. Revelio. Hello, nice to meet you. Welcome, I am Bernard Indiaye, and this is my shop. Is there anything I can help you with? I'm curious to know what's happening in Feldcroft. Might you have any insight? An incredibly unpleasant goblin called Belgroft the Bludgeoner has been tormenting everyone he encounters. Feldcroft borders goblin country, but we've always lived in peace with their kind. Until recently, that is. Some claim that Belgroth and his associates are in league with Ranrock. I don't know if there's truth to it. Whatever the case, their constant meddling is devastating business. Everyone feels unsafe. It's quite serious. What do you sell here? Glad you asked. I sell the finest array of beast byproducts you'll find in the entire countryside. If you don't believe me, feel free to look about. Eventually you'll return. They always do. What brought you to own a shop in Feldcroft? Beautiful place, isn't it? Although I admit I didn't choose it, it chose me. I was raised here. It's always been my home. As for the shop, I suppose my line of work chose me as well. I've always loved working with beasts. And my twin girls adore them. Wouldn't be surprised if they took over from me one day. What do you have for sale? What are we in the market for today? A pleasure doing business with you. Have I mentioned you're welcome to stop? Revelio. Rebellion. Accio. Rebellion. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Revelio. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Hello, Hamora. Revelio. Off on another adventure, are we?